To download the latest firmware, please click on the link below. Be sure to pause the video while you download and prepare your SD card, following the instructions on the Faro website. When you are ready, restart the video for instructions on how to update the firmware. The update to your premium scanner will be done automatically by the factory when you take it in for service or send it in for service. However, there may be a case uh, such as now um, where we need to have you update the scanner to correct some errors. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the scanner you have. First, you have to download the firmware from Faro. And to find the firmware, you go to the Google search and just type in Faro firmware update, and you'll be able to locate the firmware. You'll also be able to locate the download for that firmware. You'll need to download that to your computer and download the PDF instructions as well. This will be a compressed file, and the compressed file will need to be uncompressed or extracted. And you'll need to create a folder on an SD card called Updates with a capital U. You will copy the contents of your compressed file into that folder called Updates with a capital U on your SD card. Now I've done that for this SD card and we have inserted that into the scanner. The next thing you'll want to do is make sure that your scanner's battery is over 90% charged and that you plug in from the wall outlet to the scanner. When you're ready to update, you will click on Manage Service and you'll see Firmware Update. Since we're updating from the SD card, we will choose Update from SD card. It will give us a yellow window warning us that the update, uh, this will update the firmware of the scanner. Please ensure not to power down the scanner or remove the SD card during the update. So this is why it's important to make sure your battery is charged and you have power. So something doesn't happen to cause it to shut off. And when you're ready, you can click on Update Firmware. Or if you choose not to, click on Do Not Update. We are going to update the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take a moment for the scanner to read the SD card and the firmware file. So this process, um, the last time I did it, as I recall, was... Uh, 20 minutes or so for it to complete. And it will go through a series of, uh, of screens and you will see some information. So it's saying here the update will take about 16 minutes. And again, it reminds you not to power off. And it's going to give you a timer. Uh, down here at the bottom. I'm not sure exactly how accurate that timer is, but it's like a, a watched pot of water. Just uh, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Look away from it, and it'll finish in due time. 